Yo, it's Trent. Hope everyone's having a good day, good week so far. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment, show your friends, all that. And we got a good one today. We got trying to steal his phone story time. Not great. Don't don't try to steal phones. It was dumb, but hear me out. Okay, this kid might have deserved it. You can make your opinion, your mind up on that, but let's get to it, right? So this is back in high school, and... This was actually when I was still on the football team. You'd think I'd be scared to get in trouble, but I guess I wasn't. And I mean, I wasn't. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll tell you what happened, right? So the way that my classes would go is I don't remember if this was more. I mean, I knew I know it was morning, but I don't remember if this was before or after lunch, right? All I know is here's how my classes went. I had gym class, right? And then right after gym class, I had to go straight to like uh, small engines, like an autos class, right? It was the very first autos class you could take. It was just like lawnmower engines. It was just identifying parts. It was really boring, right? But I mean, it was cool if you liked that kind of stuff. But to me, it was boring. I like gym, right? So I'd have gym and then I'd go to the autos class. The kids in there were cool, though. Well, on this day, right? And this kid in my gym class that we're going to be talking about today... He annoyed me so much, many times, right? And usually it was nothing that, like, was worth doing anything like this over. Like, it was just me not liking him for his personality, you know? Like, he was, he just acted cocky. He was annoying during gym. He he didn't pick on people, but he called random people out that didn't deserve it, you know? And it was just, he did some uncool things. And I don't know what his deal was with the rest of school. I don't really I'm trying to think I don't remember too much about him like I'm sure he was a fine like I'm sure as a person besides what I saw maybe he was nice or maybe he was worse right but most people I guess he was kind of popular right but to me he seemed like a dick like he was kind of a dick towards people right so I never really liked him but on this day right we were playing hockey and we were playing something else we could choose right it was hockey or something else and I ended up playing both things But first I played hockey, right? Because I had many friends that wanted to play. I had like three friends in this gym class, right? It was awesome. So I'm playing hockey with my friends and this kid comes over and we got into a little bit of a shoving match, right? Like I elbowed him a little bit and there's no hitting allowed in school hockey, you know? You're not even allowed to high stick. So we were just bumping each other and we got into an argument or whatever. And then afterwards in between, right? I think it was, I don't honestly remember what the second sport was. It was either basketball or four square, some game with the ball, right? So in between going to from this game to this game, right? I get a drink of water. I'm in the middle talking to my friends and that kid's right there too. And I just gave him a dirty look, you know? And he was like, what are you looking at? And I didn't say anything because one, I didn't want to get in trouble. And two, I was like, whatever, fuck this kid, right? Like I I was just really mad. I had no comeback for him. He said some shit to my face while I was getting a drink of water in front of my friends. I could have started something and potentially it's a three or four on one, you know? But I don't, I didn't, I wasn't thinking like that at the time. I just kind of was like, whatever, I'm going to go play whatever game it was, right? So we're playing the game and, you know, he didn't even do anything that bad. But to me, like, I don't know how to describe it. I just, I had been dealing with him all class period. I was pissed by this point, right? And he just kind of bitched me out in front of my friend. So I'm like, fuck this kid, right? And I wanted to punch him, but I, I didn't, right? Like I didn't punch him in gym. I knew I would get in trouble right away. And to make things worse, my gym teacher was my football coach. So if I punch this kid, it's not like, like I go to football and the coach is like, I heard you got into a fight or I heard you got into an altercation, right? Or I heard something happen. Like he saw what I, he knows that I sucker punch this kid if I punch him, right? So I couldn't do that. I didn't want to do that. I was scared to do that, right? So I'm playing four square or whatever. The class finishes up and me and my friends and everybody, you know, everybody goes to their locker rooms to change. Now, I was like three lockers down from this kid, right? And in between us was this one kid. I don't know what to call him and I don't know how to describe him without being mean. And I liked him. I was friends with this kid, like not like genuine friends where we hung out and talked out of school, but in school, I'd say, what's up? Because he had, you know, pretty much no friends. He had one or two, right? He came from a new school like a year before. He was a little different and that's fine, right? He was just chilling. And, um, you know, the kid was like talking bad about him. He was like, 
Yeah, I can't remember. He was just talking shit about, like, the deodorant he was wearing. And then he was talking shit about, like, I don't know if it was a watch or a bracelet or something. He was just talking shit about this new kid, kind of. And I mean, not that new, but this kid that didn't have a lot of friends. He's like, oh, you use that deodorant? You have that? Like, what is that? You know, what what brand is that? Like, just messing with him, right? And I'm standing there like, whatever, fuck this kid. And I'm changing, right? I'm still mad. at. I'm still thinking in my head, like, I should do something, but I don't know what, right? And then the opportunity arise. The opportunity that I was waiting for happened, right? This kid grabs his phone and he sets it down on the wooden bench, right? Because we had all our gym lockers where we put our clothes and backpacks and phones and money, wallet, whatever, right? But he grabs his phone out of the locker while he's changing and he sets it right on the wooden bench, right? So in my head, I see that. I look at it and I'm thinking, if there's an opportunity, I'm taking that because fuck this kid, right? Like I was just so mad and... I instantly thought about, like, taking his phone. I was like, if there was, for some reason, an opportunity, I would take it, right? Not even 10 seconds later, one of his friends, right, who he associated with, you know, because, like I said, people liked him. One of his friends calls him over. He's like, yo, come over here, whatever his name was, right? I don't want to say it. That's not cool. So he says his name. The kid goes running over there, and he just leaves his phone on the bench, right? I'm looking around and the only people that are standing around me is one, my friend who's in front of me, who's, I mean, he's changing. He's not really talking to me. And then the kid that was getting made fun of, who's a little weird that I was nice to. So I doubt he would snitch on me. Right. So I just grabbed the kid's phone. I don't even look at my friend or the kid that was being the other kid was being mean to. I don't even look at anybody. Right. I just grabbed that kid's phone. I put it in my pocket and I had right to autos class. Right. Right to my like small engines class. So I get over there, I book it to class, right? And I'm not gonna lie, my heart was beaten. I was like, boom, 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 boom. And it wasn't even like, think about why I stole it. I was really mad at this kid. I just took it because I know without a phone, you know, our generation, it, it, it's a fucked feeling if you don't have your phone. That's why I took it, right? I didn't even take it thinking about like selling it or uh, like anything else. I didn't want to break it. I just, I, I wasn't even thinking like long term. I wasn't thinking what I would do with it. Like, if one of my friends would ask me, what what are you going to do with the phone? I would have no answer, right? Like, I don't know what I would have ended up doing. I probably would have left it at the school or brought it home. I don't know what I would have done. I don't think I would have ended up selling it because I think I would have been sketched out. But I don't know. Maybe I would have. Maybe I needed... I mean, I'm sure... Maybe. Because I smoked then. Maybe I wanted weed money. Maybe I would. But I don't know, right? So... I'm in autos class and here's what ends up happening. I'm sitting there listening to the directions from the teacher, right? Like he's talking over the whole class. There's like, I don't know, 20 of us, all guys, right? And they like me in the class. Like they think good about me. I was, uh, I think I was a freshman if I said that already. I don't know if I said that, but I was a freshman in this. I'm pretty sure. And I'm sitting there just listening to the directions like everybody and there's a lot of seniors in this class because it was easy to pass if they hadn't taken it right i mean for a freshman not so easy but for seniors you get what i'm saying so i'm sitting there everybody pretty much likes me everybody's listening to the teacher and you just hear nothing nothing and it's coming from my backpack right because i took it or it's coming from my pocket not my backpack I think I put it, I ended up putting it into my backpack, but it starts beeping, right? The phone that I stole starts beeping and I grab it and look at it and it says, find my iPhone on it. And I'm like, oh fuck, this is not good. You know, like this is not good. So I try sticking it in my bag. Well, first I tried like turning it off, but there was no way to turn it off. And you know, you would think there would just be like the press button to be like, oh, I found my phone, you know? But for some reason, I couldn't turn it off. It's just beeping loud as fuck, right? So I just throw it in my backpack and zip it up. And I'm trying to act like nothing's happening. The teacher's staring at me. He's like, what's going on, right? And right as he's coming to say something to me, like right as he's about to be like, whose phone is, or not whose phone, but right as he's about to discover that it says find my iPhone, the kid and the principal come walking in, or not the principal, the dean, right? The dean and the kid that I took the phone from come walking into class. And this kid is staring at me and he's mad, right? He knows why I took it. Like, he knows that I took it because me and this kid are beefing, you know? It's not like, I I mean, it could have been for, he thought I was going to sell it, but he knew that it wasn't an accident. But that's how I got out of it, right? The dean's like, 
what are you doing with whatever this name, whatever, I don't want to say his name. He's like, what are you doing with this kid's phone, you know? And I was like, honestly, he walked away and I thought someone was going to take it. And I thought, I thought I remember him being in this class. So I took it with me to grab it for him. I was going to give it in the hallway. I just start giving some bullshit lie, you know? I'm like, I honestly just grabbed it for him because I thought he was going to be right next to me. I'm so sorry. Like I was going to give it back. That, that was the point. I grabbed it to give it to him. The kid knew it was bullshit, right? He he starts talking to the dean and my teacher at the same time. He's like, no, no, we had an argument earlier. We almost fought, which I think that was an exaggeration. We weren't going to fight, but he's telling the dean and the teacher, we almost fought. He stole my phone, you know, he was going to... He stole my phone and I'm looking at the Dean like, I swear I was going to give it to him, you know, and I guess I lied better than, you know, I mean, he was telling the truth. I did take it because we almost, you know, because we had beef earlier. That's why I took it. He was completely being truthful, the kid, you know, but me, I was lying. You shouldn't do this, but I did it right. I mean, I wouldn't do this now, but I was beefing with it. I don't know why I did this, but I did it right. And I was lying my ass off, but it worked. It worked. It worked so well. I was just looking at the dean, lying my ass off, going, I swear. Like, why would I need a phone? I have my own phone. I'm taking my own phone. I'm like, I swear. I was just trying to give it to him. Like, I I don't know how things got the way they are. Like, I should have said. And then I said, this is what I really think did it for me, is I said something along the lines of this to the dean in front of the kid, right? And my teacher's right there. I was like, honestly, I was going to tell my teacher that I grabbed it, like, so, because I thought he was in this class, but I was nervous that he was going to think I stole it, like, for this exact reason. And I just kind of, I didn't act like, you know, I didn't cry or anything. I didn't act freaked out. I was just like, I don't know what you want me to do here, guys. Like, I tried, you know? And I tried to make it seem like I didn't try to steal it, which I, you know, I completely lied but I got off the hook didn't get in trouble at all I had to say sorry and say I wouldn't do it again and give the phone back you know they gave me no punishment it was stupid as fuck right but you know it taught a lesson and I should have gotten in trouble I know that but and you shouldn't steal things but one, I didn't want to sell it. And two, this kid pissed me off so much. He was being mean. He was pretty much being a bully to this other kid. He was just a dickhead, you know, and I took his phone. Funny as fuck. A pretty good story. You know, whatever your opinion is, whether he deserved it or I was just being bad, you know, either way, a good story. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure you sub, share, like, comment. Check out the puppy videos, gaming videos. Be safe and peace out.